Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. This is the first of a series of videos about iCandy 7. My goal by the end of this series is to teach you all you need to know about the software. Let's get to it. In Photoshop, go to the filter menu, Alien Skin, and iCandy 7. If you've used previous versions of iCandy, notice that we've relocated to the Alien Skin menu. Also, we've combined all of iCandy's effects into a single filter. This makes switching effects much easier. Let's go over the new interface. Start by choosing your effect in the top left hand corner. Here, the effects are separated into two groups, shape and texture. Shape effects require an object with distinct edges. The shape is best provided by an object in its own layer, like text or a logo. The shape can also be provided by a selection. Texture effects can be applied to the entire image. They don't require a shape, but you can use one if you'd like. Let's try a few effects on this text, such as Extrude, Chrome, and Corona. After you choose your general effect, explore the presets to see variations. The factory presets are organized into groups. I'll open this first one. As you mouse over the presets, the navigator, down here, acts as a thumbnail preview. It displays the preset under your cursor. Just above the navigator are tools for zooming the preview. If you are working on a large image, then it is handy to click on the navigator to move the preview. On the bottom, are tools related to the preview. A handy one is the before and after button. Spacebar is a shortcut key that does the same thing. If you are familiar with Photoshop shortcut keys, then you'll be right at home, because iCandy uses many of the same ones. Here under the question mark, you'll find Help and the Preferences panel. Over on the right, you can make customizations to the effect. A few effects have extra controls in the preview. An example is Shadow. You will see these controls when you're in the Adjustment tool. For Shadow, the adjustment controls are for the shape of the shadow. Now that I've customized this effect, I'll save it as a user preset so I can use it again later. The plus button, right here, saves a user preset. You can also use Command-S on the Macintosh or Control-S on Windows. Now I'll give the preset a descriptive name. The new preset appears in the User tab. iCandy also records the last 10 presets that you've applied. The recent presets are listed by date and time. Hover over one to see more information in the tooltip. I'll press OK and iCandy will render my results. Here in the Layers panel, you can see that the effect was rendered on a new layer. This is called non-destructive editing. Now I can try another effect without having to remake my text layer. And that's all for the Getting Started video. This is Jimmy Beach. I'll see you next time.